Police have caught up with a WA fisherman accused of hooking a great white shark and triggering seven hoax alerts. The bizarre stunt has been slammed by shark attack survivors who say it's a waste of resources. It's almost too dangerous to believe a 48-year-old man accused of catching a great white and stealing its monitoring tag. The device that's supposed to keep swimmers safe used to set off a string of false alarms. Oh, the initial thing was so we don't have to run an idiot of the year competition uh, this year because it's already been won. It's alleged between August 13 and September 4, the man used the tag seven times off Albany. There's one less shark on the system, so it just comes back to that whole awareness thing and, and getting as many sharks tagged as we can. The isolated city has a tragic history with great whites. In 2014, Matt Palella was spearfishing off Chains Beach when his 17-year-old friend Jay Musket was mauled to death. It frustrates me a lot because... My personal opinion is those receivers and that whole system and the way it works it really is the key forward to getting on top of shark attacks and, and reducing them. WA has 34 acoustic shark receivers, two are off Albany. The first sits at Ellen Cove, while the second is nearly 25 kilometres away at Frenchman Bay. The last time either was triggered was on September 4. It's a pretty dumb thing to do. Um, the, the warning system is there for a reason. Since 2007, 138 white sharks have been tagged in WA waters, but tonight there's one less. Mia Edgerton-Warburton, Nine News.